Hello, I'm Gavin Townsend from GT Personal Training. Thank you for joining us today. I'm interviewing Tony Hadley down here at the Alexander Stadium in Birmingham. Tony, um, if you'd like to introduce yourself to the, the crowd, that'd be fantastic. Hi, uh, my name's Tony Hadley. Uh, not a Spandau ballet, ballet fame, but uh, from <laughs> athletics. Um, I work for England Athletics as a national coach mentor. Uh, formerly uh, was a teacher. Uh, PE trained, but also then became uh, director of performing arts college uh, for many years. So Tony, um, you used to be into athletics yourself. Tell me about your sport. Um, yeah, I ran 100 meters, uh, quite quick, but um, not as quick as I think I would like to have run. Okay. Uh, I ran for Great Britain uh, on a few occasions, uh, both indoors and outdoors. I used to run the first leg of the football one. Um, but soon discovered that I was probably a better coach than I was actually an athlete. Okay. So, um, give us a bit of an idea of um, the sort of people you've managed to train over the years. Yeah. Well, probably the, um, the, the first athlete that became uh, quite successful I worked with was like called Phil Brown from Birmingham. Uh, he ran the last leg of the 4x4 for the country for, we'll get for 10 years actually. Uh, and in that time he won two European goals, two Commonwealth goals, a World Championship bronze, a silver, an Olympic silver in Los Angeles. That's amazing. So, and so, followed, so bro a bronze in LA? Yes. Fantastic, um, the Olympics. That was quite, uh, that was very early in my, my coaching career. Um, when was that? What year was that? That was 84. 84, yeah. And then, uh, and then a young called Derek Redmond came to work with me. Uh, he broke the British record a couple of times. Uh, was in the, the, the Britain British team that won the World Championships in the 4x4 uh, back in 1990 uh, and obviously he's famous or infamous for um, uh, his dad running onto the track to, to pick him up and help him finish off his, his race in I Barcelona Absolutely, he'd done his hamstring so. and, and, and what year was that? That, that was 92 92, That's yeah. a, there's a video on YouTube with over a million hits are on that actually. The famous uh, I know, yeah. music song yes. dedicated to uh, the father running onto the track. Yes, I mean at the time it was probably the worst moment in my life as a, as a coach sure. and uh, uh, Derek's as an athlete but in, in actual fact it, that moment is almost like defined him as, a, world famous. as an athlete. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. him and his father. Yeah. Um, and what, then, what actually happened? Did, did he pull his hamstring? Or? Uh, in that race, it was a hamstring pull. I mean, it, it spent the previous four years having issues with Achilles and having numerous operations on his Achilles. And the irony is that his, his Achilles was, was fine at, at, at the Olympics. Um, it just, unfortunately, they in the Olympic Village, they, they crammed the athletes uh, in and like the bed that he was sleeping in was not great. Not great. And over a period of days, his back was tightening up, which um, which led to the hamstring. Which, looking back on it, you know, was was a prelude to, to the hamstring injury. Okay. And then following him, and like called Dwayne Adejo. All oh, right. Um, won the European indoors a couple of times, and won the European outdoor champs as well. And um, big character, very bubbly. Um, uh, despite the impression that he gave on TV, he was a very humble, very very genuine, very uh, loving guy, um, even though people used to think that he was a little bit brash, but um, uh, let's face it, you need to be in athletics, yeah. you need to have a bit of a personality. Yes, yes, yeah. you know, it certainly helped him with his gladiator days. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, if uh, somebody wanted to get into athletics, what advice would you give them? Especially if they want to become a sprinter or subscription. Um, yeah, well, if you're at a school, then then just make sure that your PE teacher puts you in for the district championships uh, when it comes around in May. Uh, if you're no longer at school, then um, it's a case of just uh, finding out where your nearest club is really mm -hmm. and, and, and get involved uh, with your nearest club. Okay. Um, and if you have got a club that's local and um, there's no reason why you can't do it yourself. Just, just, just get out there and just, do it. Yeah, just go online and, 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 and read because there's, there's so much information, there's so much on, on YouTube these days mm. to, to give you some guidance as, as to what you can do and um, actually go with your gut instincts. That's, yeah. so that, that, that's, it does, that's it does help, it does work. So uh, are there any particular websites out there which you'd advise uh, youngsters to look at? 
Uh, yeah, I'd certainly go on to both UK Athletics website and England Athletics website. So that's UK Athletics and England Athletics. England Athletics, fantastic. Well, Tony, thank you very much for your time today. Uh, we really appreciate your time for this interview. Um, if you'd like to know more information about um, the Alexander Stadium in Birmingham, Tony Hadley, um, please search online. Thank you very much. I'm Gavin Townsend from GT Personal Training. Speak to you soon.